Okay, today we're making our hermit. So we have a quarter of our dough, which has been in the fridge. I refrigerated each piece of dough in between. I have one piece of dough on the baking sheet ready to go in. And now I'm going to do the next one. So I floured my board lightly. Parchment is just fantastic for many, many different things. Okay. And it helps if you just flour your hands just a little bit too so the dough doesn't stick to it. I have my ruler all ready to go so that I can measure 10 inches long. You don't want too much flour on the board. But your, the dough, what makes these cookies so fabulous is that they're not very dense. They're just chewy and delicious. And so if you add too much flour to the dough, they're going to become heavy. So you don't want to add too much flour over here. Okay, so I'm just using my hands and I'm just trying to roll it evenly out till we get to 10 inches long and it's going to be about one and a half inches across width. Beautiful dough, it already smells so good. It's been sitting in the fridge for 24 hours which has helped all those flavors meld together. Okay, see it's already getting a bit sticky there, so a little bit more flour over there. Okay, and measuring, we've got our 10. I actually weighed each piece of dough so I know they're pretty even. So you want them to all be the same length. There you have 10. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my board and I'm going to try and get this as close to evenly spaced with that one as I can with about three inches in between because they are going to spread a bit. So we're gonna just use the ruler. You wanna roll the, the log quite near to the edge of your board because now we're just gonna scoot it off. Oh, there it is. Beautiful, let's just move it over a little bit. And we're gonna take that ruler, let's brush off the flower over there. We're gonna square off the edges with the ruler, which makes it look very professional. And then with the short edge of the ruler, we're just going to do the ends. A little bit sticky over there, so I'm just using my fingers to pat it. And this one, yes. And just brush off the extra flour on here. Beautiful! And now it's ready to go in the oven.